Right, for the person who asked about the antenna, which is used on the 446 home base, somewhere over there in the rubbish, here it is. Just a bit of copper wire bent into a letter J, if you can see that. Oh, it's difficult to see, but bear with me. And it's terminated with some coax. Braid going to the shorter element. Centre going to the longer element. And this is cut for 446 megs. And what I then do, the tape there is just to keep it at a certain distance apart. Then what I do, I have got PVC pipe, which is oval shaped. I think this come out of a, a roller blind, which is ideal for the the J pole that I made. And I've got another piece of trunking for the boom. And what I do, I slip the J pole inside there, which fits just nice, which I'll show you now if I can. It's hard to film and. <laughs> and show. Bear with me. I don't know if you can see that but now I'm just pushing it up and I'll put the stopper in the end and that's the J-pole inside the PVC piping. That's it. You can see the coax coming out the bottom, and the other end obviously comes into the shack and into the transceiver. Well, the other end at the moment is on the antenna analyzer, so we can just test that. The lighting in here is absolutely dreadful. You'll have to uh, take my word for it. There you go, it needs winding down a bit on the frequency. About that'll do, mate. 446 and the SWR is 1.4 to 1. I'm more or less happy with that. So there you go. Next video, I will show you with the aerial on the pole and up. So I'll see you in part. Part 2 of the antenna.